Helping the homeless in Santa Cruz, today city leaders release an update about the future of an unsanctioned encampment near the Gateway Shopping Center and Highway 1. Action News reporter Phil Gomez joins us live from Santa Cruz with more on what's being done to help the people in that area that really have no other place to go. Phil? Well, Aaron, the Gateway campsite off of Highway 1 near River Street, uh, right behind, is located right behind the Ross store, is home to more than 100 people. While city leaders are trying to figure out a solution, outreach workers spent the day providing health care for those in need. Members of the Santa Cruz County Homeless Health Project Outreach move from tent to tent, providing health needs. They distribute bandages, Narcan, and other necessary supplies for those who are staying here. We try to come out at least a couple times a week and check in on people and offer basic medical supplies, some wound care, um, lots of Narcan. They've been incredibly helpful. They come out here, they do a great job. Some progress has been made. The Laurel Street Salvation Army site now provides shelter for those in need, including women and children. That means space has opened up at the VFW Center on 7th Avenue to help others. Plans are in the works to reopen the River Street Camp, but that might not be available until April. The City Council asked for a list of city-owned properties that includes parks and parking lots that could be used as transitional camping or safe overnight parking sites. And the city, by and large, all of it, we don't have a lot of vacant parcels. I mean, the only really truly vacant parcels we have was the 1220 River Street uh, and the Demi Lane property. But otherwise, they tend to be parks or parking lots. So when the council looks at options, that is the range of options. But even if the city opens another transitional camp, not everyone will choose to stay there. This many people this close together, you know, theft becomes a problem. Um, people are kind of on top of each other, which leads to fights, arguments, and, and uh, I just, for me personally, I just, I'd rather be somewhere by myself. At this point, the city hasn't chosen any of the city locations for transitional or safe overnight parking. Dan and Erin. Phil, thank you. The Santa Cruz City Council is scheduled to take up this issue at its Tuesday meeting, which is scheduled to begin at 7 in the evening.